Okay, so now we're going to talk about another strategy that we're going to use in helping you. Uh, of course, you started the, you're going to start the eating plan, but there's something you have to realize. If you're trying to lose weight, there are other things that are going to slow you down and act as barriers, and we must address them. So whichever one you have, you're going to watch that specific video so we can fix it. So what will stop you from losing weight that goes beyond the eating plan is the sleep. If you're not sleeping, you're not going to lose weight. It's not going to happen because you burn all the fat when you're sleeping. And then when you watch that video, we're going to talk about the underlying causes of a lack of sleep. It could be the adrenal gland. It could be sleep apnea, which you're missing certain nutrients that the swelling is going on your nose and you can't breathe at night. Um, there's mineral deficiencies. There's all sorts of causes to sleep, but that's one big barrier. Also digestion. If your digestion is off, if you have constipation, if you get bloating, if you feel very full all the time or you have a swollen stomach, we have to fix that because it's not going, you're not going to lose weight. It's going to also interfere with your ability to sleep. So digestion is very important to use that as an indicator to know that it's working. Um, energy level. You think you're really going to lose weight if you're tired and you're fatigued? Now, a lot of energy problems come from sleep issues, but it can also come from a thyroid issue. It can come from anemia. You don't have enough iron in your blood. It can come from a lot of different sources. So in the video on energy, if you have fatigue, watch that one. You will actually address that. Uh, menstrual cycle. If your menstrual cycle is off, you're going to have a hard time losing weight. Why? Because that means your estrogen is off and estrogen makes fat. So we want that estrogen to be at the right level so it doesn't interfere with the thyroid and it doesn't interfere with just making fat, generally speaking. So we want that menstrual cycle to be very smooth. We want the menopausal symptoms like the hot flashes to be completely gone. Again, if you're having night sweats and hot flashes all night long, it's going to interfere with your sleep. You're not going to lose weight. These are just barriers. Uh, cravings. One way I know that you're burning fat is you crave nothing and you're not so hungry all the time. If you're craving sweets, you're burning sugar. That's all that means. So we must fix the cravings and we're going to do it within the program. Um, inflammation. That's another barrier. That means that your adrenals aren't strong enough and you have, um, it's, it's almost equivalent to having way too many applications on your desktop computer and it's running and it's sucking energy from the body and it's making you, um, your metabolism not work as, as good because it draws power from the adrenal glands. Okay? So we want the adrenal glands to be chilled out and that brings us to the next thing of stress. If the body is stuck in stress mode and it can't relax and you're trying to sleep and it doesn't let you and you excessive thinking and all these other things, that means the adrenal glands are overloaded and you have too much body stress. We must eliminate that to remove these barriers to be able to lose the weight. Again, a lot of people focus on diet and exercise. They don't go beyond that to look at the whole picture, the whole body, and to get the person truly healthy. I would tell you that if you didn't have any of these issues, you'd be very healthy. These are good indicators of levels of health. Okay? So to be able to get where you need to go, we're going to handle these in the way it's going to make it easy for you to lose weight, especially long term.